To apply an art template, you must first select a product. For this example, we'll use a coaster. Click on Templates. Templates will open to the My Templates folder, which contains templates that you've already created and saved. Any template that you see that has the pink tag is one that has been created and saved using Creative Studio 2. If you do not see the pink tag, it was created using Creative Studio 1. Templates saved in Creative Studio 2 respond differently than templates that were created in Creative Studio 1. In Creative Studio 1, the template is nothing more than the artwork. With Creative Studio 2, it saves the template in the proper dimensions along with the product template as well. Under the different categories of templates are the templates that come with Creative Studio. These are all created as artwork only. Scroll down to find your category. I'm going to use mascots and then select the template you wish to apply. We'll use the Jackals logo. When the image comes in you want to first verify that it is sized properly so that all key elements of the image are outside of the bleed area. In this case you can see it's partially within the bleed. The simplest way to fix this is click on select all which selects all of the objects within the template and then just simply reduce it down until it fits properly. When working with a template each of the different graphical elements is called an object. As you can see here, you can click on the different objects. With any given object, you can move it, resize it, rotate it, and recolor it. Under the object list, you can see the colors of the object that has been selected. To change one of those, click on the color and then either select a new one from the palette, use the matrix, or type in an RGB number if you know it. In this case, I'm going to use color from the palette. and You can see the change has been made. If you wish to delete any part of the art template, simply select it and then click Object, Delete. To bring it back, click on Undo.